I'm going to practice decision making by playing a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. This is the greatest version to learn if you're new to the game. There's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. If you already know how to play and you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps your confidence. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my towels are out. They're over here built into walls next to these risers. I'm going to say that this is the east round, because the game is played in four rounds, east, south, west, and north. So this will be the east round. And let's say that we need a three fawn minimum, which is pretty standard for most groups. I'm going to deal 14 tiles for east, then 13 for south, west, and north. Let's see what we can do with the tiles for player one. Player one has a bonus tile. That's a two. We need a one. Seat one, one flower will give extra score. This one won't give extra score. So let's see here. There are enough tiles there. I always like to count my tiles. We have a pair of two bams here and then a lot of cracks with a couple of wins. If it's the east round and this is east seat, this could bring score if we can pair up and then get a three of a kind. I'm thinking of a half flush or all pung because we do have one, two, three pair one more pair and we can play all pung relatively easily. I think I would start by discarding these two and then I would probably discard these two and try to draw in cracks and honors, which are winds and dragons. I'm gonna push this back a little bit. Okay, let's see what we can do for player two or south. Player two also has a flower, a three flower. That's not going to be helpful to them. Their replacement tile was pretty nice though. We have mostly bams, a couple of cracks, and three dots. I think I would probably try for a half flush as well. A half flush is three fawns, so that would meet the minimum. We have a pair in here and a potential chow. A chow is three in a sequence. So I think I would try for a half flush there also. Let's see what we can do for player three or west. This player has mostly bams. They also have two pair here, one here and one here. If we get more pairs, we maybe could play all three of a kind, all pung. So I think I would start by discarding these lesser suits since we have so many bams. There's a lot of work to do both for these players here they really all have the same number of their major suit with offsuit tiles. It's pretty equal. This player has three pair and that is the only advantage right now. Let's see what we can do for player four or north. They have a flower, a three flower. That is not their seat flower. We need a four for them. We'll get a replacement though. 
white dragon. That's nice. Okay, all these single honors here, they'll do no good with this shape. We need to pair up so we could pung them. There's only one combination that uses single honors. It's a special hand called 13 Orphans. It's very difficult to get. That would not apply here because we need more ones and nines. 13 Orphans is ones and nines of each suit, one of each Wind and Dragon, and one of anything paired. All right, so for this one, I think I would try, because the pair is in cracks, I would try for a half flush. Or if we get more pairs, we could do all pung. We do have a pair of North, which is their seat. So if we get a pung for that, that would be a fawn right there. So we would just need to get two more fawn. Okay, so we're gonna start by discarding a three dot for east, and then we'll draw for south. They drew a three bam, which is good because now they have another tile for their major suit there. Let's discard that three dot. And we can draw for west. Five bam, that was a good pick. Let's go ahead and discard the nine dot and draw four north. Three bam, not really helpful. Let's get rid of the two dot. So now we're gonna draw four east. Red dragon, that could be helpful, getting them to a half flush. Half flush again is one suit with winds and dragons. Let's get rid of the five dot. And we can draw four south. One dot, so there's a pair. They have one, two pair, but they have a, um, if we mix suits, this would be three fawn if we go for all three of a kind or all pung. We only have two pair though. If we do a half flush, which is one suit with honors, that would also be three fawn. Let's go ahead and discard this nine dot and maybe we can try to draw in some more bams or we could chow, 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 chow. One, two, three, four, four blocks. All we need is a pair in here. So each of these are ready to act on but we would rely on this player to give them to us or we'd have to draw because with chows you can only claim a discard to complete a chow from the player on your left. So I threw a nine dot, we're gonna draw four west. Green dragon, that could help get them to a half flesh. So let's go ahead and discard the four dot. Clearly, nobody wants dots. We're gonna draw for north. Seven bam. Okay, now their major suit is bams. They have a pair of three cracks. Either way, we really don't need this eight dot. Let's draw for east. Three bam. So they have a pair and lots of cracks. Let's go ahead and discard this. Let's discard the seven bam. That's isolated. All pung, which is three of a kind, is three fawn. So if we keep the bams, even though we're mixing suits with these potential pungs, it's okay because it's the three fawn hand. If you clear yourself to one suit with honors, that's an additional three fawn. So we're kind of in between. Let's draw for this player, south. That seven bam, they're not ready for. We would need a five bam or an eight bam. So we can't take that. Four crack, that's not helpful. We're gonna discard it. Mm, four crack right here, pung, we're gonna pung. So there's a pung, we'll expose that and discard the three bam. Let's draw up here. Now this player, we have a potential chow, potential chow, potential, all these are potential chows. If we pung that, 
that would mean we could potentially pung here and use this as a potential chow. We would go from four potential chows to two potential pungs and a chow, which is fewer. Or we could play all pung and leverage these dots. Let's go ahead and do that. Pung. We'll play all pung. You can mix suits when you're playing pung, a pung hand. That's not, that's not a problem. We just can't mix chows in there or it will wreck the score. So let's go ahead and get rid of this two crack. And we can draw for west. They got a four flower. Nine bam, that is a good tile for them. They have a potential chow or a potential pung, potential pung, potential pung. One, two, three. These could be broken out to chows, but a pung hand is a higher value. So let's see what happens. We don't have to choose yet. Let's discard the six dot. And now we can draw for north. Two dot, we'll discard that. And draw for east. Six bam. So we're looking for pairs here. We want to pair up. None of these are out. There, there actually is a two crack out, but I want to hold off on that because we still may be able to play a half flush. Let's go ahead and discard the four bam and draw up here. Now here we can pung. Let's just pung. So there's another pung for south. They have a potential chow and a couple of isolated tiles. So they're going to need some help. That could also be a chow. We could pair up the red dragon. That would be nice. Any pung of dragons is worth a fawn by itself. Let's discard this one crack. And now we can draw up here for west. Seven crack. That's not helpful. We want bams. Let's discard the one crack. And now we can draw four north, south. Okay, there's another single honor. Those are not helpful right now. We have mostly bams, a one crack, two one cracks have been thrown, so let's throw that. There are only four of every tile. We're gonna draw now for east. We need to pair up seven crack. That's not quite what I was hoping for, but we have a pung of four cracks out. So we still could potentially play half flush and sacrifice the pair of offsuit tiles. Let's throw the six bam. And we can draw for south. Seven dot, we'll discard that. And draw for west. Five crack, there's a pair. We, we need bams. Let's hold the pair because we could do all pung. All these pairs in here could be, become pungs. Let's discard the seven crack. And draw for north. Eight bam. So that, that tile has brought them to a bigger half flush potential. Let's go ahead and sacrifice the offsuit pair. Three crack. So now we can chi, chi, chi. Pung, we have one, two, three, four blocks. All we need is a pair in here. You need four sets in a pair. Set and block are synonymous. So we'll see what we can do. Let's go ahead and uh, count tiles. I think I already discarded, yes. Yes, I did. I discarded the three crack. We're gonna draw now for east. Eight crack, okay, that is a good keeper for them. There's a pair now. Now that we have an eight crack, it kind of gave us some chow capability. We could take these and split them out. So for example, there's a chow, six, seven, eight. All we need here is a seven crack to complete that. So that was a really good pick. Let's go ahead and sacrifice the offsuit pair. We have just gone through the second wall. We're heading into the third wall now.
This is where you want to improve your weights. Let's draw for south. They got a north. Now that can help them get to a half flush. We have two pungs out and we have chow capability here. Let's sacrifice the offsuit tile. We're going to draw now for west. They got a two flower. That's not theirs. Four dot. We'll discard that and draw four north. Nine dot. That would be a discard. And we can draw four east. Seven crack. That was a perfect tile because now we could either pung, 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 or have two chows. Chow, chow. Three pairs in a sequence can be broken out to two complete chows. So let's discard the two bam. So we have two chows in there. We have a pung out. So that's three blocks. This is isolated and these are singles. So we need to pair up or pung and then start discarding these, but we still need a pair in here. So let's draw four south. Two dot. That's a discard. Drawing four west. Seven dot. Drawing for north. Green dragon. That is a nice tile because any three of a kind of a dragon is worth a fawn all by itself. So we need to pung that, hopefully. Let's get rid of this offsuit tile. Three crack. Three crack. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw four east. Two crack. That's perfect. Now we have one, two, three, four pair. We can pung all of those. Let's start getting rid of these. Let's get rid of the red dragon before anybody's ready to take it. And nobody can take it, so we're going to draw four uh, south. Seven bam. That was a good keeper there. We're going to discard a one dot. Isolated, potential chow, potential chow. These are singles, not helpful. But we have two blocks out already. Here's three, four. All we really need here is a pair. And then, of course, to fill in the chows. So we're going to draw now four west. Six bam. That was a good keeper. Potential chow, potential chow, potential pung, potential pung or chow. Let's get rid of the six crack. Six crack would be pung. Let's discard east. Nobody can take the east, so we're going to draw for south. Eight dot. Drawing for west. Nine crack. Discard. Drawing for north. East. So east was discarded, but now they have a pair there. There's one more left. So let's see, we have pair, 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 one, two, three blocks. There's a chow, that's isolated and that's isolated. Chow, potential chow here, or this is a chow. I mean, it really doesn't matter. There's a six bam out, let's throw that. We could pung these maybe, and then either discard these. We have one, two, three, four. We still need a pair in here or chow here and use one of these as a pair. So let's discard the six bam. And I probably should have discarded one of these instead because if you're waiting on a pair, you're better off having a number tile as opposed to an honor because everybody likes to hold the honors for score. Let's move on though. Live and learn. Let's draw for east. So we can keep that maybe. Oh, you know what? We have a Pung. Let's turn that into a Kong, which is a four of a kind, and get a replacement tile. We got a nine crack. We can discard the south. Here's a seven, eight, nine right there, seven, eight, nine. 
there's a pair and a seven eight this would be the side weight which is good and strong because we would be waiting on either a six crack or a nine crack let's discard the south we're going to draw for south because nobody can take that five dot that's a discard drawing for west four dot drawing for north west south was discarded let's go ahead and discard that you always want to watch discards and if you can't pair up those honors just follow suit because there's only four of everything so you want to better your chances of getting what you need and that's going to require monitoring discards and exposures let's draw for east seven crack we needed a six crack in here but let's just look and see what the tiles are um, look like as far as what is out there's a pung of six cracks and there are uh, there's a nine crack that was discarded here we have a pung there are no there's one two crack out and there are no eight cracks out so i think the possibility of winning with either a two or an eight is better than waiting for a six or a nine there's one more tile available if we go this way not only that but we would be playing an all pung one suit hand that would be worth nine fawn if we played where we had a chow instead for example if we had that right there chow pair pair waiting on a two or a seven would be another way to work it if you mix your chows with pungs even though we're in one suit you're still going to drive your score down this would be a six fawn hand because one suit is six fawn because chows are harder to get we could get more value if we go with all pung so let's discard the nine crack we're waiting on a two crack or an eight crack to win a nine fawn hand let's draw four south nine crack drawing four west nine crack drawing four north three crack drawing four east five crack up here they are much closer i think they have one two three four pair we're in the middle of the third wall one two three i think we should pung it and go for all pung there's either way they're behind the curve ball really okay so there's a pung now we're just going to try to pung so we could pung here maybe pung here and here i believe there are nine bams out uh let's see no two bam there are two two bams out let's discard that so we're, we've switched them to all pung which is three fawn and that qualifies so i threw a two bam nobody can take it we're going to draw for north south oh we threw the south that would have been a good pair okay we're going to draw for east three dot drawing for south four bam okay these are singles it's isolated potential chow potential pung yeah that's good let's get rid of the red dragon that's been thrown and we can draw for west red dragon might as well drawing for north eight crack that's a discard eight crack that would be mahjong for east pair pung 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 kong 
a kong is counted as a pung. So we have also a flower that is not their seat, so they won't get score for that. So here we have a full flush, which is six fawn. And then we also have all three of a kind, which is an additional three fawn. So that would be a nine fawn hand, which is beautiful. Nine fawn is 4,000 points. So this player would owe 8,000. These two would owe 4,000. So probably each of these would pay a 5,000 stick and then East would give them a 1,000 back. So we'll just put those there. And then North would pay a 5,000 stick and three 1,000s. So they could even just give these back like so and end up with lots of coinage. That was kind of exciting. What a beautiful hand, full flesh. I don't think they happen very often. A friend of mine from Hong Kong told me that that is called Gao Zheng. Now I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but it means nine showing. Anytime there's Gao Zheng on the table, you wanna be very cautious discarding tiles in that suit. Now they could be playing a half flesh or they could be playing all pung, in which case, they could still have some concealed pairs in different suits, but you want to just be mindful of that. Again, that's called Gao Xiang or nine showing. In this case, there were only two exposures. They were both pungs, so everybody should consider that they may be in a one suit hand or at least a half flesh. So you've got to be cautious about that and consider whether or not you want to push to win or fold. Let's see, we were at the end of the third wall, so there was still time to build hands. So I think I would have played to win for all of these players. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.